Now that we have some basic knowledge of the shell, let's start by exploring some utility commands in the Unix system. At the end of this video, you will be able to list files and directories in Unix, change to a directory in Unix, make new directories, explain what standard in and standard out is, and name six simple Unix commands. Probably, the most fundamental commands in Unix or any other operating system is related to being able to manage your file system. We will now talk about the ls command to list files in the Unix system, mkdir, which is short for make directory, to create directories, and cd command to change into a new directory. We will also talk about the star character that serves as a wildcard to replace any other character within a given pattern. For example, if I list star.txt, it will list all the files with a .txt extension. Before we switch to the shell, I would like to also talk about the three file descriptors the shell starts when they start up. These descriptors are always ready for commands to use. Standard in is the default source for the user to enter inputs. It is usually the user's keyboard that we can all type through, but it can easily be switched to be another file via a file redirection. Standard out is where the programs output or print their functional or primary outputs. The default is the user's terminal or your shell, but it can easily be switched to another process or another file via a file redirection. Standard out should be kept for the correct outputs of a command or program. For anything else, we use standard error. So standard error is the output channel for error messages or any other non-functional outputs coming out of your programs. For example, your trace print statements. The default for it is also the user's terminal window. If you're a programmer, these three files are also what the programmers use when reading, writing, or reporting errors or program diagnostics. Now let's switch to the terminal and try out some of what we learned. <laughs> 